is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman on this Tuesday, the uh, 6th of August. We're looking at the Dow up 271 at 38,973. There was a turnaround yesterday, and it wasn't that great. And this morning, we need to see a follow through. I would like to see a close above yesterday's high. Gap down high, which is at 39,056.19. I'd like to see it even just one penny above it as a close. I'd like to see it pop above it, but certainly as a close, it needs to be quite a bit higher to start trading in the gap. The weekly chart is still looking very strong. The S&P, the S&P is trading up 42, actually now 43 at 52.30. Uh, it, too, needs to break above yesterday's high. Uh, this is very good action. The uh, technicals are still pretty weak, so you need price to actually lead the technicals. That'll be important. QQQ. NDX 100 had a very nice turnaround yesterday, trying to follow through from the close of yesterday. It's up at 438.77, up 3.38. Also needs to fill, try to fill that gap. But the weekly chart is so close to turning pink in the nine period moving average, uh, we've got to watch this going into Friday's close. I, I happen to favor the long side right now of these different indices. Right, let's just go to uh, the IWM. Russell 2000 is up at $1.37 at 2 or 3.51. Nice action. It actually went under the 200 period moving average, closed nicely above it, and is trading above it. And that weekly chart is still pretty positive. This is a small caps. That's a good sign. Hey, let's go to the SMHs quickly. SMHs um, are up a little, up 3.40 at 216. Very nice turnaround. And it's, it's doodling around this 200 period exponential moving average at 216.92. Uh, Let's go to the gold. Uh, gold at this particular point is down 7 at 243.37. Yeah, just stuck in this range. Let's go to the dollar. The dollar uh, try to rally. It's holding up 27 ticks at 103.02. Yeah, it got quite a quite a pullback. But most important, what are bonds doing? Bonds actually are giving back some. They're down 22, 30 seconds. Um, that was a really big spike over the last week. And now it's taking a little bit of a breather. We'll see if the, if the yields can actually come down even more. And crude oil, as we go to the break, and I'm going to stop my show, the Tiger Technicians Hour, uh, it's uh, up 47 cents. I'll be back for the Tiger Technicians Hour in a moment. Check out my 